Hello Scorpio, I'm here to give you insight for the month of June. So let's clear space for you. Right, I'm going to take a look and see what the potential main energies are for you in the month of June. Nephomaniac, nymphomaniac. <laughs> So somebody could be a nympho. You could be a nympho. Earth sign. So <laughs> it could be an earth sign. Maybe this earth sign's a nymphomaniac. Or you could have earth in your chart. Feeling themselves. What is going on? So somebody is feeling themselves. Someone's bitter. I was hearing a better baby mama. Remove distraction. So you're needing to remove distractions or someone has removed a distraction. I was hearing for some of you the distraction. Um, you are the distraction for someone, Scorpio. Dark energy, what is going on? So you could be experiencing some dark energy. And then we have trolls, yeah. So there's some trolls. <laughs> Real life or on, or on the internet. What is going on? Somebody could consider you a troll. Um, let's see what's going on with tarot. Let's see. What's going on with Scorpio in the month of June? Scorpio, Scorpio, what's going on with Scorpio? Okay, just gonna pick randomly. Scorpio, here you are, King of Cups. <laughs> so, uh, Scorpio, here you are. You are the main character in your life at this time. You could be focused on yourself or you could very well be focused on another water sign person. Cancer's Pisces, Scorpio. Ace of Cups. So this is a new love uh, for some of you. This is a love interest. <laughs> It's like, I got my eye on you, okay? So, Scorpio, you got your eye on someone. It could be a, a water sign person or a spirit was telling me it could be an earth sign person. I was also hearing Virgo. If this is not the case, you are focused on your own emotions. You're keeping to yourself. You're not really, you know, trying to allow anybody to distract you. Okay, that's for some of you. I was hearing my first love. This could be a child. Nine of Pentacles. So Venus and Virgo energy. I knew I was picking up on Virgo. So um, it could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or you could have this in your chart. So this is the energy of being single. This is being independent. This is the Lord of material gains. So I was hearing things are coming together for you, Scorpio. You're trying to, I was hearing my empire. You're trying to get yourself together. Uh, all right. Like get yourself together in in a practical way. Okay, I was hearing giving orders. So there's someone who is taking orders or giving orders, but whoever is taking orders is blind. Okay. They're, they're blind to what's going on or it's like an energy of like, don't ask any questions. That's weird. Um, I feel like some of you uh, Scorpios could be feeling powerful during this time. This is an energy, if I didn't say this, it's like an energy of being single. Ugh, wow, five of swords. What is going on? So I was hearing the big bad wolf. So you could be dealing with the... Air sign person, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is Venus. So Venus and Venus and Aquarius. So you could be dealing with a Libra or 
a Taurus. It could really be any, any signs, but um, I was hearing from Spirit that somebody could see you, Scorpio, as the big bad wolf. Okay, I was hearing a predator. That's crazy. This is not for all of you, Scorpios. This is for some of you. If this is not the case, this could be somebody else you're dealing with that is like the big bad wolf and they are a predator. Okay, what is going on? Somebody is very abrasive with their energy. They're kind of forceful. They're intimidating as well. Okay, I was hearing, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Wow, this is crazy. What is going on? Yeah, the magician. So, magician, it's Mercury. Mercury rules uh, Gemini and Virgo. So, somebody is, I was hearing, conjuring something up here. I was hearing a practitioner. So somebody could be a practitioner. You could be a practitioner. Maybe you are trying to combat this energy, uh, Scorpio. For some of you, you could very well be a practitioner. And maybe you're experiencing this five of swords energy coming your way. So you are, you know, conjuring something up. It doesn't have to be actual like occultic magic. It could be, maybe it's a prayer, okay? Because it is Mercury. It's a plan of communication and check to reasoning. So it's the energy of conjuring something up to get this energy energy away from you okay or somebody is doing this when it comes to you what is this magician conjuring up conjuring up the knight of wands um the ability to move forward they're trying to free themselves they're trying to i was hearing bypass so somebody is conjuring something up in order to bypass something to bypass a situation, to bypass, I was hearing to get out of the hot seat. Someone, somebody is trying to get out of the hot seat. All right, what else is going on? Uh, for some of you, you could be trying to manifest a fire sign person. Uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries. You could have this in your chart. This is Scorpio, um, not Scorpio, Sagittarius energy here. So you, some of you could have that in your chart. All right, Ace of Wands. So this is a new opportunity. I was hearing taking back your power. So some of you are in that energy of taking back your power. I was hearing a hothead. So somebody could be a, a hothead during this time. Yeah, Two of Wands. They're a hothead because they're trying to take back control over their domain or over their life. Um, somebody's trying to make decisions for you, I was hearing. Or somebody sees you as trying to make decisions for them. And so they're upset about that. I was hearing making a decision for myself, making a choice. Uh, this is Mars and Aries. This is Mars. So Mars is action, desire, and aggression. So this could be very well an energy of, energy of being very aggressive. Like this is like making aggressive moves at this time. Okay. And these aggressive moves... Uh, moves are necessary and it could be because there's some type of ghost here i was hearing ghosts in the closet or something somebody's somebody's making some aggressive moves uh, because of this ghost in the closet or the skeleton in the closet ace of wands two of wands what is this yeah the chariot so it could have something to do with a cancer you could have cancer in your chart um, this is uh, an energy of moving forward, taking back control. So this is definitely like aggressive energy. Like this is by any means necessary. So somebody is tr taking back their power. They're moving aggressively because they have a goal in mind. All right. Um, this chariot could talk about partnerships. So you could be in a partnership. It could be a relationship. Just some type of partnerships here. And so you're making aggressive decisions or... You know, I was hearing to meet the common goal or something like that. Someone's definitely wanted to move forward. I was hearing get out of Dodge or get out of a situation. Like somebody is trying to take back control over a situation or to get back on path. Something like that. Okay, what else is going on? Scorpio, Scorpio. Yeah, a few more cards. All right, we got strength. So you could have Leo in your chart or dealing with the Leo. So uh, you could be, um, I was hearing exerting your energy. You're having to be strong during this time or in your situation. 
I was hearing um, this lion growling. So for some of you, you're trying to, you know, not show your teeth. It's taken a lot of your energy. There could be a situation that maybe had provoked you or something that's triggering you. And you're just tr trying to tame yourself. Like you're trying to, I don't know, keep yourself under control. Um... I was hearing you don't know my power. The strength was saying you don't know my power. So this could be a Leo. It's because the strength is Leo. So it could be a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart, Scorpio. This strength card is saying like you don't know my power. But this is not an energy of intimidation. It's just like I could really do something harsh, but I'm not. You know what I mean? I could really do something bad, but I'm not. Like, this is like a self-control, self-containment, something like that, okay? This could be an aspect of your personality. I don't know. This is what I'm hearing. Okay, um, two more cards for Scorpio. All right, we got the Emperor. So you could have Aries in your chart or dealing with an Aries. Nine of Swords. Oh, my goodness. So you could be somebody who is in leadership, or I was hearing in the limelight or just somebody who's in leadership. I was hearing in your own lane, you're ahead of the game. Um, being in this position could bring a lot of stress, worry, concerns. Um, I was hearing frustrations, fears. All right. There could be people that are afraid of you, Scorpio. I'm seeing here. There are people who are afraid of you. Or you could be experiencing this anxiety, this stress, this restless nights. What is this Nine of Swords attached to? Oh, wow. I heard I got a lot of bodies. What the fuck is going on? Okay, the Emperor just said it. The Emperor said I got a lot of bodies. What is going on? So this is definitely somebody who's in leadership. And yeah, people are afraid of this person. This is crazy. Nine of Swords. And these, if it's not bodies, it's just a lot of skeleton in this person's closet. Okay? They have a lot of secrets and things. Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is the Nine of Cups. Okay? I was hearing um, the song, You can go your own way. Go your own way. Okay? I don't know why I was hearing that. Um, but uh, somebody could have whatever they want. Okay, and that is what is a fear. That is what is making this person or these people very afraid because this Nine of Cups is saying, okay, I can have anything I want. I can say anything and it'll happen just like that. Like somebody got it like that. And that is what scares people because the second this person raises their hands or says, you know, calls the shots, people scramble, people get fearful. Okay, so this is an energy of someone that can just make things happen like that this is a wish fulfillment somebody could be uh, losing sleep because someone has gotten uh, a wish fulfillment somebody could be worried because there is an energy of so scorpio for some of you you could have gotten your wish fulfillment and you're afraid that it's going to get ruined or ruined or something like that and you're needing to get out of that energy you know focus on the four of wands you know that's for some of you there's like no cause for concern. It's just, you know, just something that's within you that's making you have these fear-based thoughts. That's for some of you, okay? Not all of you. But there's somebody who can just call the shots or they have their way and in some type of way or they have some type of authority or some type of pull. And that makes people fucking terrified here. Okay. Um, I was also hearing like secret alliances which is crazy. What is going on? All right, let's go over this. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Let's use the strat. Okay, what's going on with Scorpio? What else is going on with Scorpio in the month of June? Well, what does Scorpio need to know? Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. All right, ouch. So somebody is in pain. I was hearing resentment. Somebody's holding on to some resentment. Hurt, heartbreak, wounded, grieving. 
summer optimism positivity growth and joy so somebody has rained on someone's parade all right this pain could have affected somebody's joy their optimism um, i was getting a vision of somebody being on cloud nine and then like it starts it starts raining okay the sun was shining everything was fine and then it starts raining it's like an energy of that um there could be someone who's trying to come in somebody who is hurt somebody who is grieving that's coming in to rain on your parade that's for some of you All right, seclusion. So someone is choosing to disconnect from anyone or any situation that is going to bring them heartache, that's going to bring them pain, that's going to take their happiness. So there's someone who's moving away from that. They're isolating. They don't want to be bothered. Um, this could have, Scorpio, for some of you, this could have been somebody who, who's in your life. Who who ha, who has entered your life maybe briefly, and maybe you saw them as someone who was hurt and wounded, and you're like, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, because you're aligned and you're trying to focus on you. Okay, some of you, you could be in pain and you're trying to, you're just wanting time for yourself to just, you know, to align, to be happy, to be peaceful. Like you're wanting that. Like, this is what you're wanting. You can very well be in this pain energy. Um, some of you are needing to disconnect from, I was hearing trauma bonding. So some of you could be trauma bonding with someone. You need to disconnect. Brick wall, interference, blockage, pushback. So you could be experiencing interfer interference or you could be putting up the hand, you know, setting some healthy boundaries with people. Um, you know, putting up a blockage, uh, putting up a block when it comes to people who are trying to interfere in your life, you know, things like that. Magnet, attract, bringing in desires and abundance. So somebody is trying to get your attention or maybe you're trying to get someone's attention, but there is a block here. Somebody, I was hearing someone is feeling rejected. Compassion, understanding, support and kindness. So somebody um, has strong compassion for someone um or there was somebody i feel like th this person who was trying to interfere okay scorpio for some of you this person just was trying to be nice and be supporting and be kind all right i was hearing you didn't even give them a chance that's for some of you not all of you but others of you you're not you're blocking out this pain and this negative energy because you're trying to attract abundance you're trying to attract uh support kindness you know i really feel like this compassion here it's like you're focused on a meaningful relationship uh an interpersonal relationship i was hearing your real connections all right there's gossip rumors jealousy lies or rumors, lies, and jealousy. So there could be people who are jealous of your connections. Uh, it could be a romantic relationship or your connections that you have with others, like friends. So there's people who are jealous, who are gossiping. Um, I also see this as certain beliefs. Somebody has false beliefs. I was hearing not like these are not realistic beliefs. What else is going on with Scorpio? Okay, somebody's at a crossroads. Um, decision, choice, change of course. So someone had uh, taken another path here. And so since they took another path, either you or this person took another path. By taking this path, it created a blockage. Okay. It created a blockage for someone. Like, for instance, if you were entertaining someone at one point and you decided to go down a different path and disconnect from this person, that is creating a blockage for that person because you are no longer available to that person. All right. You're focusing on self-love or encouraged to. You decided to take another course. You decided to change course because you need to focus on yourself. You need to put yourself first. 
and foggy, unclear, blurred, perception. Um, some of you could have been wondering if you made the right decision. You're still a little bit unclear about this decision or this path that you're on. But you're still venturing down this path, I feel. Like there's just some uncertainty here. Let's see. All right, what else do we got for Scorpio? High Priestess, Leadership. So you're taking the lead in your life. I was hearing for some of you, you're being the bigger person. I was hearing my intuition is strong. So your intuition has led you into a leadership role, whether that be you taking um, the reins, aka chariot, getting back in the driver's seat. The spirits, respecting spirit, right? So um, I was hearing like you're a respectful person, like your intuition um, has led you to the right people. And I feel like these, these people have influenced you in a positive way. That's for some of you. Um, I do see a close connection with spirit, being really connected with spirit, um, connected with the divine. I was also hearing loved ones who have passed on. I don't know why I was hearing mom. Okay. So if it was a child who uh, had lost, uh, excuse me, if it was a parent who had lost their child, you know, this is like a child coming through, or this could be a parent, like, okay, because I heard mom. All right, so, um, but this is a close connection with spirit. This is being guided by spirit. I was hearing all eyes on me. All right, so maybe your ancestors, your spirit guides are watching over you. Crossing the veil. Look at that morning. Look at that. So you see that spirit here. So this is a strong energy of a loved one who has crossed over. A loved one who is still present with you as you embark on this journey. As you journey, okay, this, this ancestor is with you. This loved one is with you, okay. Um, I was hearing, I hear you. So some of you Scorpios could hear your ancestors. You could hear your loved ones who have crossed over. You can hear them. You feel them as well. A lot of you can see them. I was hearing mourning the loss. So some of you could have been mourning the loss of a loved one. Um, if that's the case, maybe you have days where you feel sad or whatnot. And I was hearing it's a cause for celebration. So for some of you, you need to have a celebration of life for this loved one who has um, crossed over. I can get some more cards. This is beautiful. Witch of the Woods, retreat. So some of you are needing to retreat, take a vacation, you know, uh, rent a nice cabin or an Airbnb in the forest and, you know, just disconnect, unplug. Okay, you're needing to retreat. You need to take time out for yourself and it makes a lot of sense because we did pull that self self love or self care card earlier. I was hearing step away. I was getting a vision of the five of swords card that we pulled I pulled earlier. And for some of you, you're needing to retreat. You're not, you're needing to not engage the big bad wolf or allow somebody to trigger you into being the big bad wolf. Okay. Feeding crows transformation. Some of you could feel, could have been feeling like you were losing your mind, <laughs> you know, losing your mind a bit. But, um, I feel like this is like an energy of recovering here. This is, I was hearing the calm after the storm. So you're transforming. I feel like when you take some time out to decompress, to reset, you're going to feel transformed. You're going to feel, for some of you, you're going to feel one with nature in a sense. Things are going to be much more clear to you. 
You're going to hear spirit much more because whenever I see crows or birds in general, it, they were they're for me, they're connected to spirit. And then we have the spirit card right above it. So I feel like you're going to be hearing spirit much more once you take this time out to retreat and to reset. I was hearing putting the phone on silent. Wow, poison thorn, low vibration. So you need to watch out for that. Uh, for some of you, there could be an ancestor or somebody who has passed on who is, I was hearing like a pesky spirit, a low vibrational spirit. So you need to be very careful with that, Scorpio. That's for some of you, not all of you. Or you could be connecting with low vibrational entities, okay? This is for some of you, not all of you. I'm not telling you who to work with, you do you, but this is what I am seeing here. For others of you, this is not the case. This is just a need for you to raise your vibration. Um, I feel like your vibrations have been lowered because of pain, because of offenses that you have experienced in your life. And it's a call for you to heal from these offenses, these experiences. Life is not a bed of roses. It's important for you to understand that as well. There could be an, also an ancestor or a loved one who's trying to help you raise your vibrations, who's trying to help you heal. And it could be trying to help you heal from a connection you had with them. They're trying to help you. So this is a call for you to raise your vibration. All right, witching herbs, nourishment. So you're needed to nourish yourself cleanse your space as well seek the plant life for guidance all right and we're gonna close out the reading okay what message do we have for scorpio as scorpio moves forward what message do we have for scorpio scorpio a message for scorpio Wow, perfect setting. So you see her with the paintbrush. So she is painting the sky. So this is basically saying that you have the ability to create or make your dreams a reality. Okay, you can create the perfect setting for yourself. As long as you take the initiative, pretty much. I was hearing painting the perfect picture that you want. I feel like some of you are already in this energy. You're already creating the life that you want. Everything that you've envisioned, you're creating it. I was hearing you created it so you can change it. Wow. So there is a Scorpio out there who has the ability to do this, who has the ability to change the scenarios, who has the ability to uh, change the story, the ability to change the ending. Okay, whatever it is, they have the ability to do this. Okay, so this is the end of the reading, Scorpio. God bless.